Hey there, this is Khadar and in Electronics Made Easy, today we are going to see a circuit which can charge your mobile with just two AA batteries or a simple battery pack. So if you travel a lot and your mobile drains too fast, then uh, you need a battery pack which can charge your mobile instantly. So in today's episode, we are going to see how to make one. So for this project, we are going to make two circuits. One is a Joel Thief, which would boost 3 volts of the two AA batteries to 5 volts. 5 volts or even more and next a regulated circuit which would regulate the voltage output voltage to 5 volts exactly so for Jowl Thief we are going to use the high power LED driver Jowl Thief in my last video uh, you can find the link in here so this is a simple Jowl Thief circuit for wire, uh, we are going to use a 22 gauge wire or even thicker one for more current and the battery is a 3 volts or if you use a battery pack uh, of nickel manganese batteries you can use a battery pack of 3.6 volts so voltage ranging from 2 volts to 4 volts can be used for this battery so this is a 2 and double 2 double 2 transistor which is a high power transistor uh, which can handle a current of about 800 milliamps maximum so from this Jowl Thief output I am going to connect a diode so this one is a high speed switching diode which is a 1N4148 diode and here I will connect a capacitor. So this capacitor is electrolytic preferably uh, 1 microfarad to around 10 to 100 microfarad. A voltage of around 16 volts rating. So from their output I am going to connect a 7805 regulator. So this is a voltage regulator which would regulate the output of uh, this circuit to 5 volts maximum so here you can connect a capacitor again preferably but uh, it's not needed if you connect a high capacitance here and from here you can connect a female USB pin so uh, for the female USB pin you will have 4 pins like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and this leftmost one is the ground and the rightmost one is the VCC which is the 5 volts so let's see how the circuit works so this is a circuit we have made already and as you can see this is a Jowlthief circuit an inductor, a 100 ohm capacitor a 2 and double 2 double 2 transistor and from the output of this transistor I have connected a diode and a capacitor so this is a LED uh, uh, this is a circuit from an old my old project uh, high power Jowlthief and as you can see I have disconnected the one terminal of the LED this is not actually required it's an extra component and from the output of this transistor I have connected a diode to end a capacitor and I have connected this to this regulator circuit so regulator circuit is simply a 7805 voltage regulator connected to a female USB pin so let's test the circuit so I have my mobile here I'll connect the USB pin here I connected is so I have the light and let's disconnect this LED first we don't need this so I have uh, two AA batteries here these are the used batteries so the output voltage is not 3 volts it's actually around 2.4 to 2.6 volts so I have two terminals I'll connect these two terminals of this Jowl tape As you can see, the mobile is showing that it's charging. Showing it's charging. So now let's test the current output of this device. So now I'll connect this to the battery. I'll connect one terminal of the multimeter to the positive terminal of the battery. I'll connect the native terminal directly. I'll connect the native terminal of the multimeter to the other terminal of the circuit. 
as you can see the current is about 90 milliamps so as these are used batteries the current rating is very less and it it's almost uh, dropping it's settled at 90 milliamps so if you use new batteries the current rating will be much more so i also have a rechargeable battery pack here this is the 3.6 volts battery pack 600 milliamps it's a nickel cadmium batteries these are batteries of a cordless phone which i bought recently new new batteries just, just to make this project and the voltage of this is around uh, 3.6 to 4 volts fully charged it gives around 4 volts so now let's test the circuit and connect the native terminal directly I can the positive terminal here and native terminal to the battery so as you can see uh, this is a fully charged battery pack and it can uh, supply a current of about uh, 160 to 150 milliamps so uh, the mobile is charging now but uh, though the current is too less uh, in emergency situations this current may be very useful so if you are using a rechargeable battery pack like this one so for charging the battery also you can use a usb connection cable here so what you have to do is uh, here near the battery what uh, you can connect a diode uh, preferably 194007 diode with a capacitor in series like this and a uh, small resistor about 10 to uh, 47 ohm resistor 10 to 47 ohm resistor just to limit the current and you can directly connect a USB pin here this is a male USB pin which can be connected to your computer to charge the battery uh, so if you need more protection for the battery you can add a small charging circuit and you can also add an uh, LED indicator here which would show that uh, your battery is charging so if you want to use with double A batteries then this circuit is not needed you can directly add your double A batteries here and you can charge your mobile so that is how you can make your own simple mobile battery charging pack and uh, it uses very few discrete components and you can make in less than one hour uh, including the shouldering and other things so uh, that was for today's video uh, please tell me how you uh, feel about my videos and please subscribe if you like my videos thank you